uh, also asks, is there any direct relationship between the level of minerals in a ration and positive milk, alcohol, agglutination tests? Oh, boy, Muhammad. Well, the, the answer is no, not that I'm aware of. I'm not aware of any relationship there on a mineral that would cause the alcohol test that your cows would fail the alcohol test. My experience has been, especially in, uh, in, in, uh, in other countries that use that test, it usually reflects bacteria growth, refrigeration, speed of cooling, cleanliness of the equipment. In other words, uh, the bacteria are the bad guys, not the mineral as far as that goes. We do not use that test in the United States. We used to years ago, years ago, but I can remember being in one of the uh, the um, Caribbean countries in which uh, the milk came in on burrows, uh, on burrows, and the young man had two cans of milk on this burrow, and of course, uh, he held his breath because it had a pass the alcohol test. If it did pass the alcohol test, then of course, it could go into the coolers there, and at that point, it could be used to make cheese yogurt or whatever, whatever function it was going to have because they, they have what they call a cooling station and or a pickup point and that milk would come in. Some of the milk came in by trucks and you could see it was cool with spring water. Others others was really pretty iffy. But I, I think there's no direct relationship that I know of any minerals that would cause a, you to flunk the alcohol test. And I assume we're looking at it and that's, that's a quality test. There's no question because it reflects bacterial growth and uh, lactic acid and, and acid productions by the bacteria. Thank you.